what's up guys josh the 223 here and i'm back at it again with another roblox video but today i've been getting like questions on how i make my thumbnails how i render my avatar my roblox avatar and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do that so if you guys haven't already subscribe like turn post notifications all free you can change your mind later and yeah let's get straight into today's video sorry there um you're gonna want to have these two plugins or you're gonna have to have load plugin and moon animator the load character plugin is basically you click it you know what I'm saying there's two of them there's one they have to pay for and there's the free one but it doesn't matter which one you have you know so basically you just type in user I'm gonna type in mines obviously and then after you do that make sure this is ticked off oops make sure the spawn at origin is ticked off and zoom out a little bit not too close and spawn R15 if you spawn R6, let me show you. It's gonna be different. I'm about to show you guys on why you shouldn't spawn R6 unless you really want to. So that's the R15 and this is the R6. Alright. So after you spawn those, always spawn R15, spawn at origin so it can spawn that instead of spawning everywhere else and stuff like that. So it's easier for you. You're gonna close that. And install Moon Animator too. Alright. You get that it's completely free i'll link in the description below for you guys so it's easy so we open that up here i'm gonna take the corner you know make it smaller if i can there we go i'm struggling i don't know why this is usually easy but it doesn't matter we're gonna go file all right we're gonna go to a new animation name it whatever i don't really save it the animations but yeah let's animate the character so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do whatever you prefer whatever you want your character to look like it's doing in the picture thumbnail whatever you're making profile picture or the render whatever so um let's see i'm on my character let's do what i do in my thumbnails like one just running or like holding a knife or a gun so i'm gonna do that let me show you guys why it's bad to pick the r6 first of all so you click on it boom oh yeah i went too fast so change the name you cannot have the same if you're um gonna animate you can't have the same thing you're gonna have to have like a different or just rename it and you'll be good you click on it let me cancel this plus sign you click on the character boom and now you can animate your character you can move it whatever whatever but this is why you shouldn't have r6 because now it's only moving the whole arm you can't bend the arm or anything it's just one block the leg so you can't bend it you can only like only pick that whole leg and everything and yeah and this moves the whole thing this doesn't turn it it just turns the whole thing so that's why you shouldn't be that's why you shouldn't pick the r6 one all right just don't stay away for the r6 now the r15 i'm gonna press the always press the plus sign when you're adding a new character to the run to the animation you can press ok all right and then now you can pick each part of the body part of the character now and you can move it you can bend it like that you can go like top the shoulder like that see now he's in a like a little throwing animation you know what i'm saying and then we're gonna like pull his leg back bend it a bit so it looks like he's running tilt him a little bit so it looks like you know he's about to throw you know what i'm saying we're gonna bend his foot a little bit put his leg up and now and now you have animated your character so to the left over here the toolbox is important all right if you want to use images and everything like that if you guys want to know how to like change the hat the face the hat and accessory of the character the clothes comment down below and i'll tell you guys i'll make a video about it so it's like separate and easier so we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to models all right we're gonna search let's see i'm gonna just search up mm2 knife because i feel like doing that and it doesn't really matter with knife but i feel like holding vampire's edge all right we're gonna press no it's gonna spawn head over to the right all right once you ever head over to the right you're gonna hold it drag it to um your character let it go boom it's in my hand now and now i'm throwing a vampire's edge all right so now we're gonna 
show you guys how to render this. You're gonna go to okay. where you rendered or it can be multiple stuff. You're gonna see it. If it's multiple stuff that you're rendering, like let me show you guys. Let me just spawn other things. Go back to models, search. Say if I spawned in talking ban, I spawned in the dummy. If you want all of these to come with you when you're rendering, you just drag it all down and then together that will like come with you now i'm gonna show you how to save it so you can bring it to the blender all right so you right click it you press export selection anywhere in your computer you want it i prefer in picture so it's easier when you on blender and just name it whatever i'm gonna just name it josh test there we go i'm gonna save it all right and let me head over to blender and show you guys how to render what i did before you're gonna see this but it's gonna be a screen before it just click the empty space so it goes away you're going to press x you're gonna see delete just click on delete and that will be gone and it'll be removed now what you're going to do is go to the top right you're gonna see circles up here again you see my mouse on i don't know if my mouse is showing but you're gonna see it like highlight top right you click on the last one this one shows like the colors and everything of your character so you click that and that one is like when you render lighting and all of that but if you want the second to last one that one has its own lightning lighting so you don't even like have to you know position the light and everything but me i like the last one so i'm gonna pick that all right so we're gonna head over to the top left very top left next to the blender sign we're gonna head to file we're gonna head to import we're gonna scroll all the way down Wavefront OBJ is the only one you use for Roblox because they export it in an OBJ file. So I'm gonna click that, right? Head over to where you saved your um, OBJ file. You're gonna double click it and boom. See as it opened up. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by the different shading. So this, if I move the light, boom, it's just gonna be a dark image, all right? And yeah, that's what the last one's for also to move around like this like free point just you have to hold down your middle mouse button you can't like do it in roblox studio how in roblox studio you can hold left click and move around and stuff like that like wasd you can't do that only the middle mouse button you can move around with unless you hit over here to the top left you press view navigation and walk then you can hold shift and walk around and everything but as you click it's gonna go away just fyi okay so I'm gonna show you guys what it is without the second to last one. See, it has its own light and everything, but you still have to move this, I'm pretty sure. Nah, it has its own light, but it's kind of bad. Let's go set our light. I usually do like a little bit of yellow so it looks like sun is off, is raising off my character, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna like fix the light. Get from an angle so you know how far it is. You know, boom. So there's only light on one side and I want light like in front of me on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to press control C, control V is copied. You're going to see in top right that another one has been added. You're going to drag it from that one and you're going to move it wherever you want it to move it. And then now I have two lights, two lightings. All right. Then if you want another one, same thing, control C, control V, move it from this one, and boom, you got light. Now, I'm going to show you guys the camera settings and the quality settings that I use. Right tab down here, click on it, we're going to see ambition, turn that on, bloom, that blooms the light, that makes it more um, brighter and like it adds more lighting in a way, in the space, so... If I were to turn off bloom, you're gonna see it. Let me zoom in. You see the difference? Boom, it's regular. Bloom is like a glare. So yeah. Um we got space, we turn that on. Motion blur, I turned that on. And this is the most important. Okay, if you don't have a background already in Blender, it's the most important. You're gonna head down to film. We're gonna turn on transparent. So this allows you that you have it's only gonna show your character. It's gonna have a transparent background. You can add it anywhere. And yeah, you don't have to like edit the background or anything like that. You can add your own background and whatever like photo editor you use. Now we're gonna go over to the camera settings. Now this is mostly more important. I'm gonna hit that right below the TV. 
I'm gonna go to Re Resolution X, we're gonna put 3280, always, 2160, always. Now, this is also a preference if you want it to, however you want the size to look or, you know, it's up to you. So, to get in this view, to get in the camera, the, um, camera one button right here, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna click top left view. Scroll down to navigation, scroll all the way down to walk navigation, the one I showed you guys earlier. And now you can move. So hold shift, WASD, you know what I'm saying? And you put where you want to your character to um I go from right here and you just click on the screen. Now I'm gonna go back in it. If you wanna go up and down like this, what I have to look down, press W, look up, press W. Q and E is the controls for this. Just Q and E. So simple as that. Click on it, you get out of it, you look at it if you like it, you like it, alright. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to render the image and to save it to your computer. Um we're gonna head over to render, you see up here, top left, right next to edit, we're gonna press render image and boom. Alright, so here it didn't show um the other tab so when you render you're gonna see another tab pop up you basically zoom out so you can see your full you know render then um you're gonna see in the top left it's gonna say image you just press image and it's gonna say save as you just save it wherever you want your computer and it's gonna be there all right i'm gonna head over to photoshop and then show you guys how i make my thumbnails from the render all right um for those that doesn't have Photoshop, um, you can also go to Photopea. I'll link that also in the description. That is a free version of Photoshop. Hopefully, you can do the same thing that I'm doing here. It's literally like a replica. But um, I've cracked Photoshop, so it's whatever. You can find one. I would link it, but I think YouTube would block it. So... Um, you're gonna see the bottom of the screen, I'll put the text on what site it is, and then you guys can visit that and get the crack Photoshop for free. Anyways, when making a thumbnail, always use 1280 by 720. That's the YouTube recommended thumbnail um, size. Now you just got this blank transparent background. All right. Now, if you don't have images already for like your background, such as, so like, I mean, like, I'll be like, okay. Head over to the left. We're gonna see spot healing brush. Right, so I realized that it wasn't showing as much as I wanted to, it to show on the screen. So we're just gonna show you guys, you know, basics on how I made my thumbnail. Um, next time I'll use OBS, so it shows my mouse and everything on the screen, whatever, whatever. But this is like a raw type of tutorial. So hopefully you guys get this. If you don't, I'll remake the video and It'll be better, trust me, it'll be way better. But I was basically just telling you guys stuff that you can even see on the side of the screen. Because on the side of the screen, there's settings on Photoshop, and you can do certain things with it. And I'll show you guys what it does and stuff, and this and that. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't showing up, okay? You get the gist, you get the gist. All right, so here I'm just making my text and my thumbnail basically. I'm gonna tell you guys, like, all right, I like my text like this. We're just gonna make it like that. And I'll show you guys how to blend it, drop shadow added on the avatar, added a drop shadow in the blending options. And then on the text, added a gradient. You're gonna see me, I don't even, it's not even gonna pop up. So um, I added a drop shadow there as well in the gradient. As you can see, it's changing colors. And yeah, if you guys understood this video, <laughs> I'll be explaining. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, your style, and boom, there you have it. You just made your first thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that, you can do whatever you want with it. And that's also how to render your avatar. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I post. They're all free, you can change your mind later. And yeah, comment down below what else other videos you guys wanna see. Peace out.